I'm Aswan Yacoub and I'm a Chartered Architectural Technologist as well as a Fellow of the Institute and Gold Award recipient for 2021. I run a, a chartered practice uh, called Studio Coop, um, which has been running since 2014. Uh, we work on a wide range of uh, developments where it could be something from a small residential all the way up to a medium-sized commercial uh, project. I also am um, an associate lecturer at the University West of England. I was lucky enough to attend a specialist technical college which allowed me to be exposed to a wide range of areas in the, in the built environment and also from a design perspective at a very early age and that really infused my passion for architecture and really um, allowed me to direct myself towards the architectural um, profession. Architectural technology is open to all and it's actually really key that we have people understand this. Um, some, sometimes there could be the, the thinking that there's a glass ceiling, sometimes there could be the thinking that that might not be right for me, maybe I'm not able to go into this area, but I'm, I'm an example that this is definitely possible. It's actually really encouraging. We've got a, a wide variety of class backgrounds as well as ethnic backgrounds applying and working their way through the architecture and technology courses and moving into the profession, which I think is absolutely imperative to the prosperity of the built environment and also key in regards to designing a fully inclusive environment. It's great to see that we have involvement of the young and early career professionals through the Aspiration Group, which I do look after for the Wessex region, which is also emulated throughout the uh, membership throughout the various regions around the world. It's really integral that we have a route for our and a voice for our early career and young professionals to be involved right from the student all the way through the, to the charter and fellow uh, members uh, within our institute. The built environment is changing quite drastically through bills, uh, regulations and uh, cultural and, uh, and religious requirements. Uh, all of these things are being taken into consideration much more seriously. And I think the main thing is, is we need to make sure that we have a diverse background of people involved in architectural technology to ensure that we have a fully inclusive environment for our future generations. architectural technology has a very bright future. We have a huge range of areas which we are getting involved in and that we have to be involved in to ensure that we have a built environment that is fit for the future. So we have the environmental climatic areas that we are looking into. We also have the fire elements that we're looking into. We have the task forces and various key individuals involved in committees at all various levels throughout the government or bodies that are uh, statutory bodies. These are key in ensuring that we have a voice from various perspectives to feed back into the built environment uh, that goes all the way from the top all the way down to the bottom so it affects everyone in every single sphere uh, which is extremely important and this is something which is integral and to be honest it truly is a great time to be an architectural technologist.